We have uh, Bryce Vineyard to discuss today. This is, um, this is, you can see the label for this particular site. Uh, there's a story behind this label um, that's poignant. Uh, Bryce and Marcia Bagnall uh, are, are wonderful, wonderful folks uh, from this valley. Bryce was the winemaker uh, at Witness Tree Vineyard in the Eola Hills for years. He and Marcia uh, later purchased 10 acres in the Ribbon Ridge area. Uh, it's just a stone's throw from Beaufort. And they built a home for themselves and they planted a five acre vineyard. During those early years when they were plant they first planted, uh, Bryce contracted ALS, um, very sadly. And uh, he, uh, his health, he continued you know, to work in the vineyard. Uh, his health was declining uh, though, obviously, and, uh, and eventually he did, he did pass. The uh, label artwork shows the, this bucket. This is a picking bucket with the Bryce name on it. This is a typical bucket you see for when we are hand harvesting. This is the bucket that a, that a person will have when they are harvesting. Um, and, and all the vineyards tend to put their names on their buckets uh, so they don't walk away. This is uh, what Bryce would do. Um, because he loved being out in the vineyard, he would take that bucket and he would turn it upside down and use it as a, as a seat to do vineyard work, whether it be pruning, uh, shoe positioning, or whatever was needed at that time of year. But he enjoyed being out there, um, but he couldn't stand for long periods of time. And so he simply moved that bucket from vine to vine. And this is, so this is a depiction of that. He is, in fact, uh, um, buried in the vineyard. So we have to be pretty careful uh, where the tractor travels uh, out there. Uh, but it is a it is a terrific site. It's very small, again, only five acres. Uh, it is in Ribbon Ridge, so that being sedimentary, that's the an area that's called the Pittsburgh Formation. It's uh, not quite as old as the as the Spencer Formation, which is Yamhill Carlton, but it is also marine sediments. It is sand. It is ocean bed. It's the scrapings of the ocean bed from 40 million years ago. And uh, being very sandy, it, it dries early, uh, in, and you get into late summer when, when we have very little rainfall. Uh, it promotes, by draining so rapidly, it promotes very early ripening. Uh, it's a beautiful site, and again, early to ripen because of the, the, sandy, the sandy profile. Beautiful wine shows as, as expected from sedimentary sites. It would show a lot of spice and floral qualities, um, a lot of a, a lot of umami, you might say, just really beautiful textural qualities in the wine as well. Uh, it's just a, a terrific wine, uh, and, and very very early to enjoy.